Hey, what's up there, everybody? So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up FTPD Snap on your Nintendo Switch so that you can move files to and from the Nintendo Switch without ever having to take out the SD card or turn the switch off itself. Now, this runs off a of local Wi-Fi, so as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi connection on the switch as you are with your computer, then you could go ahead and start transferring files. Now, as always, just make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this one. Hit that thumbs up button and let's actually get to it. So the first thing you need to do is just click on that link in the description down below. It's going to bring you to this page here. FTPD snap. Uh, just make sure that you are on the latest release and then the file that you want to download is this one right here .nro. Now this is also available for the 3DS, which is why you have all these other versions. So the one we're looking for is just the .nro. Click on that and it's going to start an automatic download. Now what you need to do is just take out the SD card from your Nintendo Switch and put it into your computer. Once that's gone ahead and popped up, we're going to take that FTPD.nro that we just downloaded and we're going to drag and drop it to our Switch folder. Now I'm getting a replace the file in the destination because I already have this on my switch. You're not going to get this. It's just going to go ahead and transfer into your folder. Once that's done, we could go ahead and remove the SD card from the computer, put it back into the switch, boot up into our homebrew, and then we'll continue on from there. Okay. So once you have the homebrew up and running on your switch, you're now going to notice that you have the FTPD application. All you have to do is just go into it and then highlight it in blue, or for me, it's blue is your IP address of your switch. Now what you need to do is just go ahead and open up a folder on your computer. I just happen to open up the this PC folder. You could try it with the music folder, documents. It doesn't matter as long as it's a folder like this. Then you're going to take this little bar browser bar right here and you're going to type in FTPD. Now I already have it saved here and as you can see FTP, for some reason it still works without the D, but you want to want to type in FTPD uh, colon slash slash one and then your IP address of your switch. Obviously it's going to be completely different for everybody. This happens to be mine and then type in that entire thing that you see in blue. So at the end of mine, I have 5,000. It may say something different for you. Just type in whatever it shows on your switch. Once you're done, just go ahead and press enter and then you'll notice that everything within your SD card will pop up on the screen. So as you see here, this is what my SD card has as of right now. Now I highly recommend that you don't mess around with any of the atmosphere or bootloader or config folders. This is something that you want to go ahead and just start adding applications to maybe mess around with some of your backup saves that you have in JKSV or checkpoint. Um, I really wouldn't go ahead and just start trying to delete random files that you don't know what they do because this could just make the switch crash because it is connecting over wi-fi you start messing around with things that are needed in order to do this and then who knows but uh you can also go into like your switch folder go into album and then from here is where your screenshots and videos would be saved so you could go ahead and do that and then if you wanted to go ahead and just maybe move something from the switch folder to your computer all you have to do is just drag and drop it like you would with any normal sd card and on the display you will start to see something like this this is just pretty much telling you everything that's happening from the switch to the computer and then once it's done you now have that file on your desktop now if you wanted to go ahead and just put files onto the sd card same thing just drag and drop just like that and now i have that file on my sd card on my switch once you're done, all you got to do is just press B twice. It backs out to the homebrew menu and there you go. You can continue on with your day. So this is how you set up FTPD snap on your switch so that you can file whatever, uh, <laughs> send files to and from the computer to the switch without ever having to take the SD card out or turn your switch off. If this video helped you out guys, and you know what to do with that thumbs up button. If you aren't already subscribe, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below or join my discord description for that link there. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.